It's quiet here. Not too quiet though, I I'd say just about the right amount of quiet. Anyways, welcome back to more Alundra. Klein barged in on us while we were sleeping. That's weird. We should try to go confront him. Hi, Septimus! Yeah, he either tried to kill me or he was trying to rape me. I, I really can't decide which. Maybe both. Right, splitting up. Because I don't want to be seen with you, Septimus. Hey, this door is open! That's pretty much what we want to do with this part of the game. Look for the open doors. But yes, yeah, Septimus, let's go after him. Totally in that direction and not in the direction that I'm going in. Hey, look, another open door! How did you, how did you come from there, Septimus? You went off in the other direction. Right. Let's proceed with caution. And hey! Another door! We're getting nowhere doing this. He keeps running away. Thank you. That sounds like a good idea. I would like to go back to sleep where he may once again just jump through my roof or whatever. Okay, wake up, Alundra. Wake up. Okay, thank you. We have a game to play here. Don't have time for sleeping. You are the protagonist of a video game. You shouldn't even have bodily functions. I know what you're saying, Jess. I like you, Jess. You're a good guy. Well, let's head to Klein's home. Let's just invade his privacy and invade his dreams. He'd do the same for us. Yeah, that's true. That's a little creepy. Thanks for your vote of confidence, you jerk. Stupid Maya. Hi! What? You don't even have TVs. What are you talking about? Why does no one have any confidence in me anymore? How do you know that? How do you know these things, Maya? Yeah, let's enter his dream. Screw what this woman is saying. I'm gonna charge my sword for no reason because I didn't realize the cutscene was over. Let's enter his dream. Here we are in Klein's Nightmare. This is a uh, snowy area. There are ice physics, but really they aren't too bad. Those blocks basically act as pods for the most part. The ice physics can be a little annoying like in this area. You need to avoid these spike balls and honestly I'm not too good at doing so. Basically my strategy is to jump all the time because Making turns and uh, just in general moving around in ice physics is kind of difficult. Luckily there's not a whole lot of it in this game and not really a lot of platforming which, well anytime there is platforming with the ice physics it's really not too bad so. 
they aren't as bad as the physics are in other games. But right now, I'm just gonna keep on bunny hopping everywhere and looking like an idiot as I try to get from point A to point B. I'm sure you all will enjoy that. More spike balls. I'm really glad that spike balls only do 1 HP damage because, uh, otherwise I'd be kind of screwed because I'm really bad at avoiding him. Let's head in this cave. Now this puzzle, this rock here is controlled by these switches. We want to keep an eye on the rock and we want to get it up the stairs. Which is easier said than done but still not too difficult because like you, the rock can just hang on the edges of things. Like that, wow. Really glad the game allowed that to pass. As you can see here, it's uh, the monster that looks just like Sarah. Not really gonna bother killing her or them because uh, they really don't get in my way and there's no real sense. They take a long time to kill too at this point. But you can see right now there are three pillars and uh, we're missing one. We can't make the jump, so yeah, there was a hidden switch there. And now all four pillars are up. That sound is kind of getting old, I, I must admit. Now we definitely want to head down here and get this chest, because inside the chest... There is a Gilded Falcon. And that's what we want. We want Gilded Falcons, I shouldn't have to explain this to you. I've told you this before, viewer. We need Gilded Falcons to buy things in the future. Not yet though, but in the future. Talking to that statue, of course, will regain my health, as most statues in this game do. And now we've opened up a door somewhere. So, let's gladly head out of that area and the annoying sound of the Sarah monster disappearing and reappearing is gone. Gonna continue jumping around like an idiot down here. Now in this room, we have ice blocks and we have four switches and three ice blocks. This basically is the first of what will become many ice block puzzles. Basically it involves doing this. This one is very simple. Three ice blocks on the switches and the last one saved for Alundra. However, we don't want to continue on just yet. There's a treasure chest there and we want that treasure chest. In order to get it, however, we need to use these ice blocks. We want to do something like this. We, we need all three of them. And this one we want to push down there. Now we can get on the steps and jump like that. And that is basically what we want to do. I assume there's probably other methods of solving this puzzle, but that's the only way I know how. We want to use a bomb because it reverses those. And what did we do all this for? A life vessel. Definitely worth the trouble, I'd say. Worth figuring out these puzzles just for something like that. Now in this room, it's another puzzle with ice blocks and switches, and this time it's a little bit more complicated. It's not just a simple matter of, you know, pushing things onto switches. You have to actually be a little bit more creative with how you do these things. Get out of here! Again, I could kill them, but they're really not that much in my way. Now we want to push this one way over here. And we want to be kind of careful. You can't accidentally push ice blocks in the wrong direction. That ice box goes on that switch. And there we go. The last switch is the one up here. And this one has to be used for a Lundra. Because obviously we can't get any, any ice block on top of that thing. Now with this area, there are more ice blocks here. This one's pretty simple. But you see we can't make this jump. So that means we need another platform to assist us. We need this one right here. This puzzle is pretty simple, it's just a matter of getting this ice block all the way over. 
and it slides right there and we can use it to jump on. Simple! Now, next time on Let's Play Alundrod, there is this puzzle. You can see all the ice blocks in this room right here, and we need a switch. Can you guys figure out what to do? Admittedly, it'll be pretty difficult for you if you're not actually playing the game, but I'm Vega, I'll see you next time for more Alundra.